The colour of light around us is changing all the time. From the reds of sunrise and sunset through to direct sunlight which tends to be yellowy on a day like today when it's a bit overcast, we've got blue light because the sunlight's being filtered through blue-grey clouds, hence giving it a bluey colour cast. These shifting colours are measured in degrees Kelvin, which strangely is a measure of temperature, not colour. It was invented by a chap called William Kelvin in the 19th century, who set the original absolute zero at minus 273 degrees centigrade. But how does all this relate to photography? She nearly cooked yet, Jess? Very nearly, mate. A couple more pumps. Brilliant. You ever notice how when you heat up a piece of steel it changes colour? It's what Jez is doing right now. Look at that, it's glowing white hot. That's about nine or 10,000 degrees Kelvin. The kind of colour you get in the middle of the day through clouds. As it's cooling, you get sort of sunlight, a yellowy colour. And as it cools still further, we're going into oranges. At either end of the day, you have sunrise and sunset when the degrees Kelvin fall to around 3,000 or so. I think it's brilliant that something as traditional as a blacksmith's forge has been taken and blended in with digital photography. So why does all this hot metal degrees Kelvin colour balance stuff matter? This piece of white paper. On a day like today, we've got cloudy sky and we're in shade. Therefore, this isn't actually a piece of white paper because the light that's landing on it is a bit of a blue colour. However, we still see it as white because our brains colour correct it. Same sort of thing indoors. If you've got this white piece of paper in your living room under a tungsten lamp, it'll be yellow but our brains still see white. You cannot trust your eyes with this stuff because they always colour correct everything for you. If you've taken a picture in your living room and the flash hasn't gone off, chances are it's gone yellow, hasn't it? In your camera, you've got white balance settings. Minor access through this little button here. Look in your manual, yours may not be quite the same as mine. So we have an auto setting, the A, what that is, is the camera will automatically choose what it thinks is the appropriate white balance for where you are. I don't recommend you use it all the time. They're not bad, but they're never that accurate. They can be confused, so I suggest you set it yourself. If I flick across, we've got a picture of a little light bulb. That's for your living room. That will make your picture really blue if you use it anywhere other than in tungsten light. The reason is the yellow tungsten light needs to be counteracted. To counteract it, it has to add the opposite colour, blue. So if you're shooting in the living room, use the tungsten setting, your pictures will be the right colour. But for goodness sake, remember to put it back, because if you don't, and you take a picture down here in the woods, what you'll end up with is a very, very blue looking picture. Now, Moving on across, there are fluorescent settings. There are different coloured fluorescents, so it's well worth your while to do a little bit of a test if you're shooting under fluorescent. There's a picture of the sun. That is for sunshine, if you're shooting someone in sunlight, or even a scene, a landscape. But this is about the scene, not about you. If you're standing in the sunshine, but your subject is in the shade, you need the shady white balance. Use the sunny one when your subject is lit by sunshine you've got a little fork of lightning. That's for flash. That's colour balance to work with flash. There's a little picture of a cloud. It doesn't take a genius to work out. That's for a cloudy day. Your subject is lit under the clouds. In shade, little picture of a house with a shadow next to it. And lastly, you've got Kelvin presets. Well, on this camera you have I can choose how many degrees Kelvin I want the colour temperature to be. Low degrees Kelvin is a red colour. High degrees Kelvin is a kind of cold blue-white colour. Daylight is reckoned to be around 6,500 degrees Kelvin. So now you know all about white balance and why you need to set it yourself. If you enjoy fiddling around in the computer, you could colour correct stuff yourself there. But I don't know about you, I prefer being out here taking pictures. So use your white balance for perfectly coloured pictures every time.